Uh, I like the SP2 because one, the wrap goes all the way down. Um, the design is elegant. It's not too much, it's not too little. You know, color scheme looks really nice. And then the 12.9 Revo just fits on there perfect. So to actually go through the process and see how every shaft is made and how they can uh, tweak it this way or tweak it that way. or So it's, it, the process is incredible and just being able to understand it and have trust that it's made the right way and you know it's formed this way every single time when you need it. It's just, it's like uh, having a little coach on your shoulder while you're playing. Good evening, welcome everyone to the Predator One Pool 10 Challenge. And this evening we have a great match and we have Fernando Cano. Hello, Fernando. Hello. From the south of Spain, from Cordoba. He's an amazing player who qualified for, for this event. And uh, he will face uh, uh, Jason Show. Hello, Jason. Hi. Uh, Jason, who is uh, one of the best talented players ever, uh, winner of the Moscone Cup Moscone Capti Times and uh, current uh, WPA uh, eight in the ranking. And uh, yeah, with me commentating, uh, we have Luis. Hello, Luis. How are you? I'm good. Uh, just can't wait for the start of this match. I'm sure it will be a very, very good match. So sure. I'll ask uh, Jason if you want to choose uh, head of tails. Heads. Heads. So City, what do you decide? My break. <laughs> you got tails. <laughs> tails. <laughs> okay, so it's Fernando who 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 choose. You want to start, Fernando? Uh, he starts. Yeah. Okay. So Fernando decides that you start, Jason. So Beautiful. good luck uh, to both good of you. Good luck, man. Good luck. Good luck, Jason. And here we are. So guys, remember this match, uh, the winner needs to win two sets. Each set, the player needs to go up to 60 points. So the first set, Jason is going to break. And the second set, uh, Fernando's gonna break. We have an alternate break format. Remember, we're playing 10 ball, but we're playing 10 ball with nine ball rules. So if you make the 10 on the break or you make a combo with the 10, you win. If you take ball in hand, you win 10 points. If you don't take ball in hand, you win 15 points. Yeah, you can start, Jason. Can I ask one question? What happens if it goes one set each? Uh, and then you have a, uh, one decider. What, okay. Just one game? Just one oh, game? One, one set. One set in this case. One oh, set. one set. Okay. Yes. So we already have 200 viewers. It's amazing. Before the match started, we had already 150 people waiting to the match to start. So first, rag, pretty good, but a little bit awkward, these three bones on the right side of the table. We'll see if Jason can do something to move the, the, these balls. He starts yes. confident with uh, no ball in hand, so going for the 15 points and we'll see I, I from think the when, I think when he makes, he can make the four and, and at the same time, separate the cluster with the seven and the nine. I don't know what you think. Yeah, could be, but yeah. Is now the shot. I think probably the four goes in the in the side pocket. So maybe he makes the three and then when he makes the four in the side pocket. And there is a combination too. Oh, okay. this, this, this is the four ball. Ah, okay. this is a four ball, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jason. Yeah, sometimes uh, it's difficult to see from our position, and yeah, but Jason likes to help us. So we already have almost 250 people watching, not professional players, pool celebrities like Molina Mike, a lot of people joining in, guys. We have Marker Fefilova here. 
in the house watching the match. So we hope you have a great Monday afternoon. Remember, this is a better tournament. We're doing this for you guys. This is a fun tournament. This is a competition, a serious tournament. Okay. And the idea is to have a great time and to learn. Yeah. So he found the solution, just the, the six balls went to the to the middle pocket. So like no, now it looks like a formality to finish this this rack and start with uh, uh, 15 points. So that puts the pressure on Fernando. I mean, starting a set with 15 points puts a lot of pressure on your opponent. Yeah. Okay, good. 15 points for Jason. You can break, Fernando. Nice start. Yeah, as, as you can see, guys, this is the second match in the tournament that we have two players in dif two different parts of the world with the same table, the same equipment. We had Jasmine Ocean and Francisco Sanchez Ruiz with diamond tables and with better equipment. Now we have two players with Rasen tables. So this is amazing. Yeah. And one ball down. Good. And uh, this, the balls are different. And uh, the different, uh, Fernando have the, the normal balls and Jason have these uh, different balls with the, the black stripes no tv balls tv balls okay yeah we also have david alcaide in the house he won earlier he he played a solid match the him and francisco sanchez ruiz advanced to the second stage of the tournament yeah, and we remember you that this is the last match of the third round. So tomorrow we will start at 9 a.m. in the morning, uh, the second round. Damn, so sure. Adam, we yeah. already have 300 viewers. Good yeah. news. <laughs> oh, okay, so not good start for him. And it's two points. Okay, Jason, you can break. My break? Yeah. So he's struggling to find a, a good place for the, the two ball and, and missed it. So we'll see if Jason put the ball or not. Dry. Dry break. Okay. So. Another chance to, to score heavy for Fernando and just to enjoy this uh, this game and and just don't feel the pressure, just try to enjoy, no? But it's, it's easy to say and difficult to, to do that. <laughs> for sure. Okay, white ball very controlled, and it is time to put one ball. So, yeah, unfortunately, I think he can't see the the one. So he needs to take ball in hand. Yeah, and the things are not easy. No, it's not the easiest uh, rack. This one probably because of the seven and the eight, right? I think they're together on the yeah. center of. The Close to the two and the ten. Yeah. This one person asking what table is most is most commonly used in Venezuela, Luis. Oh my God! You remember there? You remember that I'm from Venezuela? I'm so I'm so blushed. I mean, I'm I'm so happy. Uh, Brunswick is the most common table in my country but diamond is the most famous table in my country yes Chita, this is a great stroke Cano has a good stroke and he's a great guy guys we were, we were talking to the players before preparing the stream 
and we have two great human beings. Okay, so he's taking uh, his time. I like that. It's a very important moment and playing a, a player like Jason, you know, he can score heavily in two or three racks. So uh, yeah. So we have Stephen Petty uh, saying that he, he shared the stream with his local pool players page. They have 821 members. Thank you so much, Stephen. And thank yeah. you guys. Remember to share, like, comment, give us a shout out on the comments on Facebook. I mean, this is fun. We're here for you. Yeah. Derek. Both players are playing on a home table. Yeah, they are in, at his own place, and you obviously can play in a club if you don't have your own table. But oh, he missed that ball now. Yes, he missed that ball. So it's that five points. I think he stood Not up too, too fast on the shot. I mean, he. Yeah. I think he stood up on the shot. He moved. He That's moved why he was, yeah. Yeah. a little bit of. Uh, Body movement, and that's because he meets it. Okay, okay, so three balls down in this break, and where's the 10? Open. 10's over the side pocket. The town isn't, okay. yeah, in, in the side pocket. It's uh, these balls with the, the black balls, and sometimes it's, well, it's different to, to see. They are the new brand of. Balls for the, I think in the last Moscone cut they they start to use it. So so Adam, we have the best viewers and fans in the world. Hear this: Sandra Valenta shared the stream on her official Trick Shots page. Thank you okay. so much, Sandra. Thank you so. Much. Regards from Germany. Danke, feeling danke. <laughs> okay, so Jason doesn't look that have any problem in the rack, so. He has, he's such he a plays, straight shooter. Yeah, and very confident. We remember that we have the stream on YouTube channel too. Now we have like 70 people now watching there. So, yeah. This is uh, another 15 points for him. Fernando, you can break, yeah. Yes, Diamond, probably. I think, I, I think just as you think, I mean, Fernando uh, jumped up on the shot. He moved, and that's why he missed the six. I agree. Yeah, that's true. So we have Gerson Martinez Bosa in the house. He's the current number one in Latin America. Yeah. Okay, so good break. And the things are open here. Maybe it's a good time to settle down and and try to score heavily because he had the the chances, but uh, he never took it. So I think I we take advice like Jeffrey De Luna said. I think uh, earlier this morning he said that he believes, and I believe so too, that this format is best. To ensure your ten points, I mean, take ball, and make a ball on the break or more, take ball in hand, ensure your ten points. If you have an easy run out, you have a shot on the one and a possible position for the two, go for the fifteen. But if not, ensure your ten points. That way, guys, you can keep the pressure on your opponent. Yeah, of course, and that's the part uh, you can think uh, a little bit more offensive if you go for the fifteen points, but. Uh, it's more safety to play for the 10 shots. It's the only part of 
to think about safety playing here and missed again this this ball unlucky fernando it's not easy guys because yeah he, he fernando... lost the control the control of the of the white ball uh the speed of the white ball so make the thing more difficult in this shot of the on the two and uh, it's not uh, time for difficult shots uh, now so it's better to to play easier shots in this moment when you are not confident maybe and yeah you are playing okay. no ball in hand no ball in hand okay he has a shot on the one and a possible got a position. Shot. i've got a tough shot but i think i can pull off I believe I believe you're gonna make it, Jason. I believe you're gonna make that shot, and you're in a great, great position. Great ball. Okay, good shot. Perfect. Yeah, as we said, this is he chose to forego for the 15 points when maybe he can ensure the 10 points. But uh, yeah, he played a perfect shot in the. One using three rails to get position for the two, and now a little bit tricky. This white ball, which we see. Okay, so yeah, cannon in the, the 10, but controlling the white ball in, into the middle of the table. Very nice. So, looks like he will do it. And yeah, it's uh, bad news for Fernando that uh, 315 points, and that means it's 45 points and it's one rack away from winning the first step. So, so we have Clayton Rocha. I shared the link to uh, my friends in the okay, good chat. 15 points. Thank you. Thank you so much, Clayton, for sharing the, the stream. Uh, no, Stuart, he didn't put the 10 on the break. The 10 was on the side. Well, the 10 just... The 10 ball look is black and blue. Yeah, black, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so that's why we think... Yeah, he didn't put the 10 on the break, no. I know, guys, that you're rooting for Jason to make a perfect break and make the 10, but he didn't do it. Probably he's going to do it, but not yet. I don't want, I don't want to. I want to run out. <laughs> okay, so dry break now. Bad moment for a dry break for Fernando. And you it's break? Tough, uh, because uh, Fernando's playing with a lot of pressure. It's not easy to be a pool player. Uh, get a spot on this tournament and get in the first round jason shaw i mean that's a lot of pressure guys yeah. and no no Ooh. ball down dry break oh. okay very close very close yeah good news for fernando we're having the uh, another opportunity to to score heavy here So we passed the 350 people watching the Facebook stream. Thank you, guys. Let's see if yeah. we can get to 400. Yeah, and Francisco Sanchez Ruiz, who is on the house too, uh, supporting Fernando. Come on, Fernando. Come on, Fernando. Daniel Muñoz says, Vamos, Cano. Vamos, Jason. <laughs> oh, and a scratch, not a good moment for a scratch, too. It's to break, Jason. Wow. Yeah, Fernando just needs to, to enjoy the moment and try to, to yes. compose himself. And this time, yeah, he put the ball. As we see, the 10 ball yes. and the 9 ball have this. Oh, black stripes, so are a little bit confusing, maybe. And the people it's that don't, don't, don't know this new set of balls. 
than uh, Jason is using. Okay, so. I, I tell you, I, I tell you, it was over. <laughs> and Jason, who is uh, enjoying himself and commentating and uh, letting us know that uh, the game is over. So. Yeah, doesn't look any 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 problem in this table. So, yeah. So, so for you guys, the people that don't, don't know Jason Shaw, I had the honor of meeting him last year, and he's a guy that probably the people that don't know him like he's cocky or whatever. And Jason, I can tell you guys, is one of the nicest guys out there. Is the guy that says hi. <laughs> He learns the name of the people around him. I mean, uh, he truly. Yeah, so six innings and four 15 points. So pretty, pretty good that. Well done, Jason. So Fernando, you. you can start the second set. Yeah. I, th I think this is the closest we've gotten to a perfect set so far in the tournament. Yeah, I think Tyler was the one who made the same, but with only one dry break, uh, I think. But I, I had two, two. Two dry breaks, yeah. You will need to improve, dry. Jason, for the next set. <laughs> yeah, as you said, Jason is a great guy. I, I met him like 30 or 14 years ago in the Jersey Festival of Pool, uh, Festival of Black Ball. Yeah, your break, Jason. And yeah, you played the final of one uh, tournament with him and he beat me 3-2. He was, I think, a teenager in that moment, maybe 17 years old, something like that. Okay, so one ball down. And mm, doesn't have maybe uh good position for the one maybe he can he can bank it but he could bank it and get a position on the two i mean he's on the good side of the one yeah. with left right spin he will get on the two so let's see how aggressive is jason feeling yeah i think now you need to make sure and and go for the tent but uh yeah is so that moment Mark when you no ten so, point. Okay. For ten. He decided uh, to to play offensive and going for fifteen ball in and great speed. Perfect. Control. Yeah, amazing. Oh, it's, close. it's close. It's close. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think he needed like ten percent of an inch to get enough of the two to make the shot. So probably we're going to see a one pocket bank on the lower right yeah. pocket. Now he's going for the jump. So we'll see if he can control the white ball here. Yeah. OK, so good shot. Yeah. Um, he needs to, to jump again, so he's going to chuck the jump, you guys. He did this at the final of the International Open. When he's on a death stroke with a jump cue, he's going to do like two or three great shots, then he's going to kick, and then he's going to run out, guys. This is classic Jason shot. Oh, oh, man. Uh, okay, so first no. miss of Jason. That's first three points. Jason, for Jason. Jason. So we start with a dry break from Fernando. And the first miss of Jason, who, as we said, uh, he, he like to play offensive and go for 15 points, but uh, maybe it was uh, time for a. Uh, to make the thing uh, short and go for 10. Ball in on the side of the pocket. Three points for Jason in the last game. 
Amen. Yeah. Uh, three. I, you, I think you made one ball on the break and then the one, the two, and you missed the three. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, so that's how it works. You get points for that, too? Yes. You get, yeah. points. You get, you get three points here, Jason. Okay, okay. I understand that. So I just just thought if you missed yeah. I thought if you missed that was it. Oh don't worry, we got three points. Okay, so now is a good time for Fernando to to start his board, uh, to try just to enjoy this game. And these two balls together are the the problem of this rack. So we'll see if now. You can move it, yeah. Good shot. He made the two, he moved the four, he has a shot on the three. Yeah, I think Fernando needs to have fun. He needs to relax, have fun. I mean, that's a way you can you can move ahead on this format. We have Mark Halvor saying, saying definitely true. I met Jason shot at the same way, and it was super cool. Saludos desde Venezuela, Mirjana. How are you, Mirjana? Good shot. We have Torsten Homan in the house. So that's why we, we have almost 400 viewers, guys. Okay, so now he just need to compose himself and clear this table for the 10 points. Just take this time, make the things uh, sure, taking a look if uh, this ball goes to the Top corner pocket too. So, yeah. Okay. It's okay. It's fine. We just now need to put this wall in the top corner pocket and leave himself a natural angle for the black. Okay, it's a good shot and natural line up for the to the ninth. Perfect. We have Carlos Gomez. Saludos a los comentaristas. Hi to the commentators. How are you, Carlos? Hope you're enjoying the match. Hello, Carlos. Yeah, and we're having fun. It's been a great match, but start now. Ah, that's the pressure. That's the pressure. Well, so that's nine points. Yeah. Yes. Okay, Jason, you break. Fantastic. Yeah, he feel the he felt the pressure here and and oh, he missed. He's standing it. up. The pressure's of making course. making him move. Oh, the scratch now for from from Jason. So zero points here. Good news for Fernando, who is now leading this set for nine points to three so if he can manage now another 10 or 15 points here and his first 15 points could be the best moment now to so guys remember to participate on the giveaway we put a link on the facebook comment box you can participate. This is a prayer event and they're giving you a lot of products. So go to the link and participate on the giveaway. So he made a ball. He has a shot on the one and I think he has two clusters. He needs to do a three nine combo on the top left corner pocket. And then he has, I believe, a, a cluster of the eight and the four on the center, lower center of the table. Okay, so, yeah. Good opportunity for him. 
now, yeah, con the combination. We just need to control this three ball. Yeah, it's a good track. So again, just in, try to enjoy and don't think that you are playing some player like Jason. Just you are at home. And as you practice every day, he told me that during the lockdown, he's practicing and he improved that's because he's here so that's great he got his new rest on table and he's improved that's amazing um, um, uh, the white ball the scratch so uh, that's four points yeah four points and jason we'll see if uh, he doesn't miss now because he missed that ball to play for a 15 point. Wow, and now he doesn't control this break. So bad break for Jason Fernando. He can break. It's been a quick match, this one. Yes. We Jason, have saludos de Jose Alberto Oliveira. Hi, how are you, Jose? From people all around the world. Yeah. And Paco Lopez, who is a, a friend of mine. He lives nearby. Okay. Hello, Paco. He's a black ball player too. And I remember you that I'm taking care about the one black ball TV. And we are playing black ball online too. So that's fun. Yeah. Okay, so the fourth break of the second set now. Okay, nicely controlled this white ball. Okay, and shot on the one. Mm, I think he will need to take ball in hand here to make the, he the one on the side pocket, and he can get position on the two. But as as we've said, the best strategy is to ensure the ten points one time after another. Emerson, saludos desde El Salvador. So the people in Latin America are giving 100% to the stream. Thank you so much. We have people all around the world. Europe also. I mean, I believe both players have a lot of friends supporting them in this match. Okay, so good chance now. We'll see. If you can manage this time to, to clear up. Yes, I, I believe that Fernando needs to take his time. I mean, you don't have a shot clock and it's better for you to make sure you're giving your best on each yeah. shot. That's very important. And that's, for example, in the previous match, uh, Echo and Cassie did. You know, uh, he made the things sure, and he only missed one ball during the whole match. So, okay, so it's okay. Now he need to cut this shot, this ball. Not the easiest, but uh, the white ball goes straight away in the natural angle. Oh, great shot. Play the eight, so it's okay. That was a great shot. We have yeah. Dino Knight, South Africa is in the house. How are you, Dino? Hope you're having a great afternoon, watching pool, eating some food, drink, having a drink. Jorge Armando de Guatemala, how are you? Yeah, a little bit short here, but... Uh, Oh, okay, and he missed it because of that. He doesn't have the the best positional play in the last shot. So eight points for Fernando and the scratch from Jason Show. He was struggling in this second uh, set. Uh, Fernando, you break. 
Yes, I think Jason lost his amazing break. So yeah. Fernando should ensure his 10 points to keep adding to the set. So guys, remember, this is, a, this is the last day of the first round. Uh, we're going to be publishing on all of our, our social media the next mass matchups for the next round. We're going to have tomorrow, we're going to have Oscar Dominguez against Tyler Steyer. It's going to be commented by Tony Robles. So the tournament is going to be going to get better and better and better. Yeah, it's awesome to have players like this commentating too. Uh, they are the best in that. They know everything about the game. And now the tie break from Fernando. So Jason, you break. So we have Cecil Reds Blake, Pittsburgh representing. How are you, Cecil? And we'll see if now Jason changed uh, the break or something to try to put a, a ball or have a better break than the last three. He made three consecutive breaks without well, he put the ball, but the white ball, the scratch in one. And um, yeah. In four innings, the score is good for Fernando, so. If I've learned something from Jason, this is a guy that analyzes a lot the context of the table, humidity, how the cushions are working, how the break is working. I mean, he analyzes everything, guys. So this guy has like 15 scenarios of building the rack, of how to, how to break. So you need, we're sure that he's gonna adapt. Yeah, Miriam, we have eight points for Fernando in the... in the fourth inning. Okay, is that okay? Okay, so now ball down a little bit. Oh, wow. white ball. Not the best control, so he now go for this, for the 10. He needs to get in rhythm again. I mean, that's why he takes ball in hand without thinking. He's gonna get warmed up again because he, now he adapted the break, like we said, guy. Yeah, everything is open, so looks like he will score now these ten points and. Uh, we apologize because uh, the last inning we didn't count it for Fernando. Now it's, it's eight points in the fourth inning and zero in the fifth. So that's now okay. 21 points to three for Jason. And looks like he will score this 10 shot, 10 points now in this shot. Yeah. 10 points for Jason, your break, Fernando. And that means it's uh, 21 to 13. We make the things uh, sure in, that, uh, in this rack. And pretty well. So Jason is back. And we'll see Fernando if he can score. A 10 or 15 here, it will be very important, but not in that way. No, a dry break doesn't help now. So, yeah, dry break. Jason, your break. We'll see if uh, he managed to do another good break like uh, the last one. 
white ball very controlled and mm -mm, this one ball down yeah two ball down good and doesn't have shot on the one so he take ball in hand for the 10 points and looks like there is maybe these two balls near the cushions and this position now for the for the two a little bit uh, tricky he was now here a little bit pacey but i'll bank it don't have to call for nothing no oh it's nine ball rules you don't you don't need to do it you can do it for fun but okay so pretty good this bank shot no problem for him uh, and we remember that uh, in these rules we don't have to call any ball so it's like nine ball but then ten balls and also the uh, the golden break if you put the ten in the break you get the 15 points okay so jesse there should be a speed bonus <laughs> a speed bonus yes. well for sure Jason and, and, and Francisco Sanchez as well, they will get a bonus for playing quick. Okay, so 10 points, so that make uh, 23 points to 21. So now Jason is in, in front uh, again for the first time in this track. Yeah, and Jason is now very confident and dry break for uh, Fernando. It doesn't help in this moment to to get into this match. So, yeah. Less than 90 seconds for a rack. Someone is from yeah. Jesse. Now, one um, of the things that you could love about Jason of his game, he, he's a straight shooter, right? But he's also so confident when he's playing. You can sense it. I mean, you can see it. He plays so relaxed. I mean, it's really amazing. Yeah, and he's uh, always very good and very, very easy to watch no? and very entertaining. It's been always like this and uh, I remember in 2010, he won the World Championship, uh, World, World Black Ball Championship in France. I was there and it was also uh, streamed by Eurosport 2 and it was an awesome match. He just missed maybe one ball, two balls, <laughs> and the whole match and finished. Yeah, that was that, that was a sick final. That was sick. Yeah. <laughs> a oh, sick that's yeah. Jason. When yeah, he's on dead stroke, I mean. <laughs> We, we were talking earlier when, when Adam was presenting the players that Jason won the, the Turning Stone Classic like 17 times. He said, no, only six. Okay, so You've seen that 10, ten, ten points. Uh, Fernando, who now needs to, to start to score heavy because the adult white, if Jason put the ball, he scored easily 10 points and he missed this uh this is two ball in the in the first rack of this uh, second set because he went for the 15 points and dry break again for for fernando that he doesn't good. help at all that's not good that's not good yeah and it's uh 
I think it's four consecutive now tie breaks for Fernando. Uh, that doesn't help at all. And this ball goes down, yeah. So uh, as, he, as we have seen uh, Jason's break, he's always making a ball on the top right corner pocket and he's always getting the three to go around the table and go on the bottom right corner pocket. So you yeah. can see a clear pattern of his break and always getting a shot on the one. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. It's amazing how these top players control the, this break. And it's amazing sometimes too, how they struggle to put the ball. The first match I commented on Monday, oh, sorry, on Friday morning, the okay. Yuko guy from Japan, I think he did 12 dry breaks in the, in the whole match. And in the second set, it was horrible. He never fought the ball. So I think uh, a Spaniard won that match, right? A player from Spain. Yeah, a uh, guy from, I think it's from the Basque country. Yeah, okay. um, he will play, I think, tomorrow morning. Yeah, tomorrow morning. Against Feder, I think. Yeah, Hector de Lama against Feder. Okay, so, so guys, remember to see the ten points now. The and Fernando, yeah, that's forty-three points. That means uh, it's Jason very, very close now. Just seventeen points away for for this set. Uh, but uh, Fernando is there, just with a, a couple of good. Uh, breaks and good runs he can be in this match but again this is the fifth break in a row without spotting a ball so is that a big problem in this game one, one, one. five yes. balls five balls of this top ball now <laughs> okay and okay. the three was gonna go around so watch guys Watch what we were saying about Jason's break. There you go. <laughs> yeah. How he control the things. No, it's amazing. Adam, one of the things that Ralph Suket was saying the other day is that you could you can try a break three times, but if in, in three attempts, you get dry breaks, it's best to change it. I mean, more than three attempts getting dry breaks, you need to mix oh, it yes. up. I think uh, uh, we made a mistake, and in the, in the last uh, game, it was 15 points for Jason, so. Yeah, it was 15. Yeah, yes. that was my mistake. Thank you. So, and now it's going for 10. So the score is 38. Sorry, guys. So thank you, David and Adam, for clearing that clearing that out. I mean, you're the best viewers and the best fans. You're four better than we are. That's great. Thank you. Yeah. Sometimes you are commentating. You are thinking about uh, other things, and it's it's not easy. And obviously, no, we, are not, we are not professional. <laughs> it's it's great because the the fans are getting the score right. Yeah. Okay, so now this is ten points. Uh, Fernando, you still having a chance to come back in this uh, game? Come on. So Miriam, if you can change this 15 points in the last rag, that means uh, Jason is 48 points. Yeah. 
How many points do I need? Uh, you have 48 points, so it's 12 points away from winning okay. the set. Okay. He has 58, I think. He needs two points. Uh, no, it's 48, yeah, uh, Liz, 48. Yeah, so my mistake again. I miscounted uh, this last 10. So it's 58 points. Yeah, you're right, uh, Liz. So Jason needs a super break and he wins. Yeah. I'm going to crush them. Yeah. I'm going to challenge you, Jason, to make three or four balls on the break. So make it fun. Three or four. What about the cue ball with it? <laughs> without, without. You can make two. Okay, two balls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but meanwhile, Fernando is clearing up the, the table. So. <laughs> Man, it's so hot here. It's like 110 degrees and I'm in the basement and the AC's in the other room. <laughs> you need an AC sponsor, Jason. Yeah, that's what I need. You're right. <laughs> For sure. Okay. Margaret Fafilova also needs an AC sponsor, so I'm going to get sponsor for you guys. She's also yeah, playing you... in, in La Paz. Yeah, you do that. That'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so two balls. For scoring these 10 points. Nice shot. Yeah. Good shot. Good shot. Game's over though. Oh, and he missed this ball. So it's this nine ball. Nine ball in points only. He's smiling, and now Jason is two balls away from winning. So many balls. One ball down. Ah, uh, on, Jason. Made... Only one? One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Yeah, uh, but I want, I, want, I want it to run out. Okay, oh, so... okay, okay, okay. Sorry, yeah. sorry. We can give uh, the opportunity to everyone to enjoy this last uh, rack with uh, Jason style. Congratulations, Jason. You played really, really good. You missed just uh, the ball the, uh, and the scratch. No. Okay. <laughs> Unlucky, Fernando. Uh, we know that playing someone like Jason, it's, uh, it's a lot of pressure for you. But uh, yeah, you I, I, I enjoy it, but uh, sometimes the things are, are not going the right uh, way. These five breaks in a row without spotting a ball, a nightmare. Yes, I, I, I have fun. I, uh, that was a great match for Jason. Um, the things were, went wrong, but uh, this, is, this is very special for me. It's a, it's a very, very uh, good thing for me. Um, yeah. Break so when I break the first time, I say, "Oh, my my uh, my arm is is doing wrong." But <laughs> I'm a very a very uh, a fan of Jason. <laughs> yeah, and just to play against him, it's uh it's something very very uh, nice to to have in. Uh... So I enjoy it. Jason, yeah. the table is the same as the player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it, it was the table, different players. 
I played good the first set, you know, I missed a couple of chances in the first set, maybe just a little bit nervous or something like that. But uh, I played good the first set. Then the second set, I break dry maybe and stretch a few times. And then towards the end of the set, you do the same, you know. So, yeah, uh, you know, the break is the break is uh, very big. And uh, if you don't make ball on the break, then it's uh, it's very tough to win. Yeah, that's true. You missed that ball, that three ball that you jumped, no? Because you you went for the 15 points in that uh, rack, maybe a little bit uh, too offensive. Yeah, it 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 wasn't that tough to be honest with you. I just yeah. if I'm about another half inch on the two ball, then I have an easy finish. But yes. um, you know, it, it's, yeah, it's but the then, way. Then you change a little bit and you 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 take ball in hand in three or four uh, games. Yeah. And, and for the 10 points, for to make the things. Yeah, I, uh, so. I just did that. I just did that so to to get in stroke a little bit, you know. Okay. So how do you feel with the former Jason? How do you feel playing one pool? I mean, it's a different from Ghost. How how do you how do you feel? It's very same as same as playing Ghost. Very same, um, you know. But then, obviously, when you miss against the Ghost, you just keep going. But now you have to wait on your opponent, so it's a little different. Um, but you know, it's fun, something to do. Um, while all this stuff's going on, I've uh, I've been doing some other things. So I just played like 36 holes at golf and then came home and did this. So now I'm going to go take a shower and uh, I'm going to go eat some food. Okay. So great guy. Thank you so much. I mean, Fernando, you had a lot of support on Facebook. You had hundreds of people saying, vamos, Fernando, vamos. <laughs> Obviously, Jason had a lot of fans. I think this is the match with the highest viewer rate. We had more than 400 people watching the match. So if my math is right, with Margaret Fefilova against Tyler Steyer, we had almost 300 and until today more than 10,000 people have seen the match so with you guys probably we're going to get big big numbers so yeah thank you so I, much. Um, once obviously I'm going to play more matches now and um, I'll share it and stuff like that I have like 20,000 people on my page following me you know what I mean yes so, yeah. thank you so I, much I, I will get them to share it and then when it comes on it's something for people to watch I've just been busy the last few days that's why I haven't did anything you know Thank you okay. so much. Okay, so thank you guys. And uh, we come back tomorrow at 9 a.m. with the second uh, rounds. And uh, yeah. Uh, when do so I play you... again? Uh, I'll take a look if you want. Uh, it's Wednesday. You know. Wednesday at, uh, at 5 o'clock our time. I don't know your time. but uh, 11 a.m. 11 here. Yeah, okay. Okay, yes. no problem. So. Okay, see you guys. Okay. See you later. Nice match. Good luck, my friend. Thanks. Bye-bye.